Students get their hands dirty during their introduction to archaeological field methods offered this semester. The excavation site is located at the historic George Reed House in Old Newcastle, Delaware. Our interest is in looking at the different layers of soil, what distinguishes them, and locating any artifacts in them and then having to try and piece it all together. I've always just been interested in what people left behind um, and what we can learn about their lives from finding it and deciphering what it means. The project began in the 1990s. Excavation was put on hold for a period of time while findings were recorded. Fieldwork has resumed this year and this is the first time the class was offered during the school semester. The project is supported by the Service Learning Program and the University's Historical Society. Students also earn Discovery Learning credit. Here, across from the George Reed House, students find all kinds of artifacts, including animal bones like this and glass shards. These things can date back to the 1760s. It's almost as if they're, like, they're eating a meal, they have the ceramic and the meat, and they're just like throwing it, you know? Like this is the beginning of a trash pit. So I mean, that's kind of cool. Even finding a small piece of brick is significant to learn about the history of the property. Yeah. Excavating the field benefits students in ways that classroom learning cannot. It's really good for archaeology to get hands-on. So we can't just talk about ceramics and show images. We need them to come into the lab and touch the ceramics. Students are not only gaining valuable experience, they are also providing a service to the museum and the residents of the area by slowly uncovering these important artifacts. I feel like it's going slower than it actually would be with professionals, but I mean we're learning so that's fine. It's just a lot of work, a lot of physical labor, playing in the dirt, I mean it's fun. Since the class has not yet completed its goal of excavating the designated site, the project will continue into the summer. This is Meg Huber for UD News.